Well, Ian Kennedy, those are good numbers to begin the season. Four starts, a 2.35 ERA. He did give up four earned runs on Wednesday at Toronto in just five innings. On paper, but in baseball, you, we know you got to play it. Chopped out to Moustakis. Ryan Braun is out. The Royals will face right-hander Zach Davies. Knows how to throw or pitch. A little indecision on the right side, and VR still makes a diving play in shallow right. Thames. And that's the energy that he brings. Santana takes advantage of the overshift. He goes to right. And he is the game's first base runner. He'll drop one out into center field in front of John Jay. Santana makes the turn. And John Jay's throw is offline. Mike Moustakis' throw is not offline. And Thames is out trying to advance to second base. Impersonation of an NBA referee. Pena pops it up. Solaire is there, and that's the inning. Makes it a little bit harder. Get the ball away. There you go. Lucas Duda had a tough trip. Well, he saw a lot of off speed from Davies, who gets his first strikeout. Late movement. Alex thought it stayed inside, but Mark Wegner said it got the inside edge. Dug out earlier before the game, talked to a few of the hitters, and they, they were amazed at how much green grass there was out here at the, at the K. And of course, Lorenzo said, and he told the media in his uh, press conference that. And now he's on with a walk. They're not just down the middle, meatballs. Right there. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Kennedy got a foot on it, and Salvi has no play. He had a chance to pick it up with his bare hand and throw to first, but the ball just stopped in the grass. So VR scores, and Milwaukee takes a 1 0 lead. Braun runs, and that ball is hammered and into the water. So Shaw continues to wear out right hand pitching. That's a three run home run. And the Brewers have four in the third inning. Yeah, I mean, this was a no doubter. Four seam fastball above the belt. Good, easy level swing. Told you about his power. He, and this one was a no doubter on contact. Here is Burt Smith in a Chevy call to the bullpen. Ian Kennedy was hit on the foot by Ryan Braun in the third inning a week ago in Toronto. Good fastball at 94. Whew. Line to center field. VR is on with one out. And the guy dropped it. <laughs> oh, look at that play. Good feed to Escobar, back to Duda. Oh, talk about soft hands. And the guy dropped it. <laughs> oh, look at that play. Good feed to Escobar, back to Duda. Oh. Oh. Salvador Perez into the left field corner. Gone. He's back. in the lineup something they badly needed to go along with some of the other good power hitters they've got fantastic to see that and we talked about it earlier anything middle in he has it he's a home run threat Kane walks for a second time that's the first given up by Smith and they had comeback wins there's a lot of different ways they could beat you Smith has walked two in the inning. That one on 
four straight to Ryan Braun and the Brewers have two on with one out. Off speed and struck him out so Burt Smith and that says a lot. Alex Gordon drives it to the opposite field Lorenzo Kane won't get to it. Alex Gordon is at second base with nobody out. Just any kind of ground ball will get him home. Escobar jolts one to left field. Not deep enough for a home run, but deep enough to get Alex down from third. It is 4 2. National League teams. Oh, nice. Race to the base. And VR beats the throw. And he is three for three. Duda again with soft hands goes to the bag to get Sogard. And Kane hits it into right center field. And off the Pepsi porch for an opposite field home run. And I think that was going to be the last man that Burt Smith was going to face and even Royals fans give Lorenzo an ovation for that home run. So remember last half inning we were talking about you know this is the matchup that. Candelario is it was Jimer. Jamer. Eski's going to have to hurry Yelich can run and Eski throws it away but there will be no further advance. But it was a learning pit moment. I told him that's that's a learning moment. Braun goes the other way. Yelich stops at second base, and the Brewers greet the Royals with three straight hits. Yeah. Big pitch by Tim Hill to get the strikeout. Two down. Got him to pop it up. Escobar had to go over the bag to get it and the Brewers have had a good start to their season from the bullpen. We saw a lot of Matt Albers when he was pitching for the White Sox. Chesler Cuthbert lines it to left. Yelich thought about coming up for it. No playing on a bounce and Chesler is one for three. Albers gets the job done. He gives out a Dan Jennings comes on to face Mike Moustakis with one out in the eighth. Salvi went around on a pitch that went all the way to the signage board behind home plate. Pena throws it down to Thames. Here's Blaine Boyer making his eighth appearance. Braun walks. For a second time. Jeffress is not messing around. Look at that. 12 and two thirds inning, 11 strikeouts, flare pop ups to left. That hit Soler. So he's out. And Alex is at first with two down. Santana makes the play in foul territory. And that'll do it. The Brewers extend their winning streak to seven games. And they snap an eight game losing streak to the Royals. Lorenzo Kane in his return to Kauffman Stadium had two hits, two walks, two runs scored, and an RBI. And the Brewers improved to 15 and 9. Final score 5 2 Milwaukee.